Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am sharing a little bit of Swapbot Happy Mail with you. And this is called a mini album folio flip. I have gone ahead and linked below the original, or at least original to me, tutorial for this. Um, she does a really great job explaining how to put it together. It's super simple. Um, you grab a piece of pattern paper that is trimmed to 6 by 12 inches. And then on the short side, you're going to score at an inch and 7 eighths. And then on the long side, you'll score at 3, 6, and 9 inches and that will create the four little flaps and the pocket along the bottom. So at this point, I should give a quick disclaimer. I have mailed this out to my SwapBot partner, um, but I don't know if they have received it yet. So if you are my partner and you're watching and you wanna be surprised, you should stop watching now. I have used the Crate Paper um, Snow and Cocoa collection. This is an older collection, so there's not a ton of it left out there, but there are a few places that you can still find some of the items. So if I'm able to find anything, I will link it below for you. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce that pocket section. Now, you can see me here thinking, should I put some in the middle? Yes, I should, <laughs> but I don't at this point. Later on in the video, you'll see that I come back in and I do add a little bit more score tape just to reinforce those and to make sure that the goodies that I'm placing inside aren't going to shift around too much. So if you're making this, I suggest you add that in here at the beginning just to make your life a little bit easier. At this point, I'm going to turn up the music and let you enjoy the process video and then I will be back again at the end just to go through the finished project.
Okay, so let's fill this folio up with some goodies. I've got a washi share there and also added a little bit of some pink trim along the bottom. I've got some word stickers from the Snow and Cocoa collection. I just trimmed those out to make sure they would fit. I also used a die cut from Hampton Art um, to cut out those gold deer and the gold paper is from Die Cuts with a View. I've created that little pouch of some glittery uh, fake snow and then also that mason jar that I have tucked in that last pocket there. So here you'll see that I am going back and reinforcing those pockets to make sure things don't slide around too much. As I mentioned earlier, I would recommend that you go ahead and just do this to begin with. That way you're not messing around with things after you've already got them decorated. Here I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing everything back in there again. And then as I fold this, I realize that it's just a little bit too puffy with that packet of snow. So I end up taking that out and I'm just gonna separate out the deer and the word stickers. So I'll put one in each pouch there. And then when I package this together here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just place that on the back. Here I've got some cream twine that has a little bit of gold fleck running through it. I've added one of the little tags from the Snow and Cocoa Ephemera pack. And I'm gonna wrap that around a couple times and then I will tie it in a bow. And that will complete the project for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished project. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.